Hey, <laughs> to all my Christian warriors out there, my soldiers, you know, sisters and brothers out there, you know, trying to live right in this right way, you know. Satan is a liar, no doubt. <laughs> hey, I was going to talk a little bit, you know. Say the devil is a liar, you know. Um, tactics, you know, and weapons formulated, you know, and strategies in this, in this uh, spiritual warfare are very, very, you know, precise, you know, and uh, strategically dealt against the service of the light. So, you know, if you have purpose, you already know you want the full attack. You, know, you already know you under full attack, you know, and and it's like a game, you know. It's like a game. I say the games. I heard the title of a very good book, you know, and and it gave me the idea, you know. And it it's called the games people play, you know, and it's a reference points to the ideas that I had. I had discovered on my own, you know, along my own journey of spiritual, you know, the spiritual journey of. <clears throat> the games, the games people play. Now, first of all, we know that the enemy, you know, are not the humans. You know, it's the enemy, it's the, it's the devil. You know, it's that's our true, you know, enemy in this, um, you know, in this spiritual battle, the enemy of God. You know, and uh, I know I wanted to highlight a couple of concepts. You know, because you know, one of the main, you know, attacks. And one of the, the main def only defenses that the enemy have is when he can he can accuse the truth as being of his nature a lie. Now what more what better way to confuse the masses than to do that? He does say that. So that's one of the that's a very important uh thing to keep your eyes open for. Because the enemy, he can't he can't he won't come at you alone. He has to have a network. You know, a network in the flesh, you know, of uh, enemies. So the only way that it could even be, or you know, a servant could even be attacked or pursued. You know, that knowing it with, as if the character of that individuals or individuals, you know, be corrupted. You know, be corrupted and made out to be, you know, deceptive or evil or bad. You know, just like they did with Jesus when Jesus was on his earth. You know, you had the Pharisees and faith, you know, you know, the, the, the religious leaders, you know, it, it, people even accusing him of, of being of, you know, worker, a worker of Satan, you know, which is totally ridiculous, you know, <clears throat> and that's what it is now. You know, um, the only way he can come for you, he can't come for you for no reason, you know, you know what I'm saying? So that's how, that's how people be too, you know, they, you know, it can't, it has to be a reason before for you so you have to make make everything out to be you know make you out to be in the tech you care do whatever it takes to make you out to be bad before they can oppress you and um come at you i learned a couple of lessons in the spiritual warfare you know the spiritual war the spiritual battle you know uh god has really been good you know he's been good he's opened our eyes up you know that we no longer live and walk in blindness you know um we be aware of the Bible, you know, we be aware of the scripture, you know, the things, things that will help us to grow, you know, uh, spiritually, keep us, keep our minds open, you know, and, uh, and not be blind to the tactics of the enemy. I noticed, I noticed that, that it's not until, not until I actually put my head to the plow and started, you know, making some real progress, you know, that. A lot of, you know, flex start coming my way. You know, a lot of, a lot of blame, condemnation and everything that, that, you know, previously was irrelevant, you know, to anybody, you know, start coming up and popping up left and right because the enemy, the devil saw that I was actually making it, you know, finna do something, actually making some progress. Then that's when he wanted, you know, he used his people, you know, whoever or whatever, you know, the, the, um, persecutions come from, you know, to come back. To try to taint my character, you know, from things that were already, you know, irrelevant or things that was already dead, breathing life back into stuff, you know, for no reason, you know, you know, pretty much. And that's how it was like, like before, even before, you know, even before anything, you know, enemies and, and persecutors already hate it, you know, without a cause. They already hate you without a cause, you know. 
They just look for, you know, a cause in order to put with that, you know, a reason, a reason to hate, if you will. You know, and that's because of the enemy, you know, his hatred for Christ, you know, and by his hatred of God, you know, and jealousy of Christ. If by us being of God, you know, he's automatically going to hate us. So his demons in the spiritual realm, they're going to hate us too. Then some of them get into some humans and, and, you know, influence them to do the things that they do against us, you know, and keep us, try to keep us oppressed and keep our progress here back in some way, shape or form. It's all spiritual, a spiritual tactic, huge device to try to hinder the influence and keep, <clears throat> keep, you know, the, the light from shining out, you know, to try to dim the light, if you will. It's all like a game, you know, it's all like a target, you know, just for someone to blame, you know. Uh, you know, everything's been better than that, because I know when I was, you know, I don't know, a couple of years back, I, uh, I, I took extensive time, because cause I took extensive time on this subject, and um, like you can see it through a lot of my works, uh, disbanding all of this, oh my God, you know, even in, and I know some of my um, thoughts have been quoted, you know, and um, they, they're there. And I just pretty much take a radical approach on the spiritual warfare thing that we're dealing with because we need an adult, you know, unadulterated gospel. We need to hear the whole truth, you know, about everything. We don't need the watered down solution no more, you know, because that's not the solution. You know, we don't need to hear things watered down no more. We need to hear exactly what it is as a line to God's word, you know, and that's what we need to embrace that's the image we need to embrace you know and that's what we need to emulate and that's what we need you know uh you know to keep you know and as you as you know that you know as you uh grow climb then you know pursue your <clears throat> dreams and actually make progress that's that's when he's gonna start moving he's not gonna he's not gonna move when you're just talking about it he's gonna move when you actually put your head to that plot you know and that's pretty much the way it goes you know uh it's a battle you know, it's a battle, you know, uh, and, and it's a battle and it's a remaining until the last day, you know, which is soon to be upon us, you know, uh, Christ, you know, Christ doesn't lie. You no know, God can't lie. It's impossible for him. He say quickly, you know, look, you, know, you quickly is, you know, he's coming, you know, you're going to have his reward with him, you know, and, uh, he's going to give to every person according to their works. And, you know, I see snidness, you know, and, and, and things, you know, because it's it be situations where as the enemy, you can see the enemy, you know, grinning his teeth because he knows, he knows that everything that's going on is, is straight foolishness. But the thing is, nobody else knows that, you know. It's only you and him know it, you know what I'm saying? That's just how it be as a person, you know. It, it, you and another person can know that, 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 that Everything that they have done has been foolishness. You know, all that they said and done, and, and, and the reason has been no reason behind anything. You know, no true reason just for the simple fact of the envy of the purpose and, you know, the, the spiritual, you know, will or, or want to cause a hindrance in the purposes of God, you know. And that's what, that's what it all boils down to, you know. Radic, you know, radicality, like you know, that, and that's and that's it. The bare, because the basics. What, what better place to start than the basics? And the spiritual is as basic as you can get. That's the that's the starting ground. You know, because we born in this physical world, and we spend the rest of our life trying to get to the physical and get right in the physical world. But that's the only way to do it. You know, we have to get right in the physical world in order to make it. You know, into the gates. You know, into the kingdom. Satan is a liar. You know, I want to tell all the Christian. Brothers and sisters, you know, to stay prayed up, you know, uh, you know, don't, you, you know, you know, God's, God's will is real. You know, God's word is real. You know, yeah, I mean, nothing changes. He never changes. We change. He's trying to change us, you know, to be, you know, conform, you know, to be like his son. That's who we need to be like, Jesus, you know, and God is good, you know, all the time. You know, I want to send blessings, you know, uh, stay, stay encouraged in this, in this warfare we deal with here. You know, it's not over, but hey, it's gonna be worth it. You know, it's gonna be worth it in the end. There's nothing, but, you know, no better words than here. You know, well done, my good and faithful servant. You know, and that's what I'm trying to hear. I'm trying to get in. You know, and yeah, you trying to get in. We gonna make it in. God bless. Stay with it. Stay up.